Hello, we are the Pirate Crew. This is our making of. Welcome aboard. Our desire was to create an offbeat romantic comedy in a quirky environment full of unpredictable events to keep everybody guessing. We blended references from many sources, the artistic direction from Pixar and The Willoughbys, the lighting from Rio and Moana, the color palette from Coco, and the animation style of Hotel Transylvania. To create a sense of adventure and mystery within the comedy genre, we created environments and characters with high contrast. To keep the audience on their toes, we changed the pacing and rhythm quite frequently using dramatic and abrupt transitions. Manon did the early explorations for the characters, which I redrew to make them more coherent with the environment. Our fast-paced comic adventure was actually quite challenging to tackle due to the large number of highly contrasting characters. The very shape of their bodies needed to capture specific notions and visual clues to accommodate our visual style as well as the animation constraints. The hair systems had to be flexible and allow for detailed grooming. This facilitated the animation of our designs and made them come alive in a variety of environments and lighting conditions. Alone on the island, the mermaid daydreams about finding her match. So we gave her a sultry attitude, like a typical bombshell. She is ready to do everything to seduce people, but unfortunately for her, the pirate doesn't see her that way. I modeled, textured, and groomed the mermaids. The groom was especially challenging as she had long, flowy tresses. It was important to establish a good workflow to get something which was close to the concept and maintained her style consistency with the other characters. I used noily textures as a base and modified them to complete the look dev of the mermaid. Her tail has a chromatic iridescence which I achieved by blending different colors in the specular to create glistening fish scale effect. The tango sequence was a key dramatic moment in our story. At first, we conceived it as a fierce battle between the goat and the pirate, but that introduced too many constraints, like complex camera movement, high shot volumes, and choreography. We chose instead to do a dual-like dance, which gave more humor to the scene as well as lower rendering times. The animation was based on contrast in the acting, going from semi-realistic to cartoonish and dynamic. Pippon is massive and rough, so we transcribe an imposing attitude for him, even though it turns out to be expressive and flexible in the end. The animation of the mermaid, the goat, and the crab was more static, so the acting was mainly conveyed by their expression. The main rigging challenge I faced was for people. The animation style we chose, especially for the tango sequence, required his massive body to be flexible. It was crucial to allow deformations for post-to-post -post animation without losing key shapes, such as his muscles during the close-up at the lake. For this part, I built a small custom muscle system to avoid making the rig too heavy. I worked it with ribbon to keep the flexibility we needed for the tango. The environments were of utmost importance in creating an atmosphere of adventure. We designed the settings to drive the story and influence the character's mood through lighting, colors and shapes. Since there were so many different environments, it was necessary to be pragmatic. The trap cave and treasure chamber are located in a massive grotto, so I set up a system to create procedural cliff walls and rocks to get as many diverse shapes as possible. Treasure piles were set up to create threatening waves of gold, ready to swallow up people. We wanted the beach to give a sense of freedom and possibility. So for the ocean look dev, I took my cue from a dust lighting, which brought very bright and saturated colors to all the objects and the characters. I also scattered vegetation, rocks, and other elements on the beach to create foreshadowing, to make it seem like Pippon was heading into a known and dangerous territory. For Pippon's home, it was important that the asset be modeled to look eccentric and quirky. We also created an extreme change in the lighting from the first shot in the cabin to the final shot when he's back home after his adventure, relaxing with his wife. Throughout the film, music and sound effects emphasize the impact of our characters' action on their surroundings. Special thanks to Guillaume Wilmo, who composed the music, Jeremy Piccirilli, Theo Couder, and Lou Touchard from Audio Workshop, who created the sound effects. Thank you for embarking on this adventure with us. It's okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>